Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, and skincare, and more. And today I'm back with a dedicated review for the Crunchy Mascara. This is their new mascara. It was called Shattered on the site, and now it's not. So we're just going to call it the new Crunchy Mascara. Without further ado, I'm going to dive into this review, go through the scorecard, and if you want to learn more about it, then stick around and let's get into but it. But I'll give you kind of the details in a nutshell. The packaging here was intense. I mean, it's pretty great because it's glass, so it's a little bit more on the green friendly side. It's heavy. It's got that weight to it. I tried their other mascara. I wasn't very impressed. I was quite underwhelmed by that. So I was excited to give this a shot. It's clinically tested and proven to be non-irritating, or so they say. Vegan, non-GMO, Leaping Bunny certified, and gluten-free. If you wanna see more honest reviews like this one and support the channel, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps. Thank you, thank you. Ben, how did it perform? Well, it starts with the ingredients. So what do the ingredients look like? That is a winning question. Here comes the cat. All right, so I have the full ingredients list back on the site in the scorecard post. Please check that out because ingredients are personal. Oh, by the way, I purchased this. No one's paying me to say any of this. You're getting my honest review as always. But on that note, I am not a cosmetic chemist, not a dermatologist. Overall, in my experience though, water as the first ingredient usually means that they there are going to be quite a few preservatives in there to keep it shelf stable. Now, is that a deal breaker? No, but in my experience in trying products like this, I just always kind of go, mm, wonder what's in there to keep it shelf stable. This is just my thought process. Next up, clumping, because that's one of the big questions. I tried it out for a little over a week. There was a little here and a little there because I would build, but really nothing major to write home about. Very positive. It got a four out of five on the scorecard. Does it multiply and add volume to lashes? Okay, this is where I was impressed. So the previous formula, it felt very like, I like a mascara to actually show up to be impactful. A lot of people like a very natural look, so I totally understand that. I try and kind of give you both sides of the story here. I think it did a very good job when it came to multiplying lashes. It's not like the mascara that you apply and it defines and it really kind of saturates with a formula, usually a more liquid formula. This is the kind that really fans out more. Overall, it got a four out of five did a very good job with this question. Did it provide flake-free wear? Well, uh, uh, uh. no, not for me. I didn't use it with a primer. I did use it with a primer. It was better without a primer, in my opinion, on my lashes. I found it to be very flaky by the end of the day. I think that had something to do with another question that I'll touch on in a second. It was pretty flaky, and I was not excited about that. And you can see my full day wear test. I usually wear it for at least eight hours. So I filmed what it looked like at the end of the day. Let's cut to that real fast. As you can see, or maybe you can't, but yeah, you can kind of see the flaking. This mascara flakes. Okay, so you can see flake, flakage, not a fan. Mm. Two out of five on the scorecard for flaking. It flaked out. Get it? <laughs> mm. Now this one, is it a non-irritating formula? So I wear contact lenses. Mind you, I haven't been wearing them a lot at all. I've been going full glasses mode. I found it to make my eyes water. My eyes have felt kind of watery, a little bit irritated. Not sure what specifically is causing that, but they feel a little bit hot, like almost as if I had contacts in for too long. So, and at first, the first couple of days I thought, oh, pollen, allergies, got a vacuum, whatever. But then I realized the connection. So this did irritate my eyes. I'm not sure what is inside that irritated my eyes. I rarely, rarely use mascaras that irritate. I know a lot of people have sensitivities there, but I just haven't had that experience often. So I was surprised to find it here, plus their first mascara didn't irritate at all. There are a lot of ingredients in here that could potentially be irritating. As a result, two out of five on the scorecard there. Oof. Is this a consciously created product? This brand, Crunchy, does a great job there. I am in no way a consultant, by the way. I know they have those, but, or maybe they're not called consultants. They're probably called some other term, but they're basically consultants. It's like Beauty Counter, but not really. Leaping Bunny certification, the packaging, the product packaging, let alone the packaging that this product comes in is very thoughtful. So I really, really appreciate the brand for that. I think their next step, wink, wink, would be to provide refills. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. 
just putting it out there. Got a four to five on the scorecard for that. Total score here was a 19 out of 30 on the Style Shaker scorecard. So my final verdict, would I repurchase this again? No, I wouldn't because first of all, it irritated the skin after I wore it. It just flaked like crazy on me. So I don't know, maybe I need more primer. I don't know what the case is there. Overall, I wasn't really happy with how the formula performed for my lashes and my eye sensitivity. I think if you have sensitive eyes, then I would look at that list very carefully because some of those things might be red flags for you and some of them may not. Again, very personal. So it is back to my favorite mascaras on heavy rotation. If you wanna see what those are, then you can check out Brit's Picks Spring 2020 Guide. This one condensed fun PDF kind of menu that tells you all my favorites, why they're my favorites, and you can shop it all right there. Also, it's on sale for 50% off, so just just put that and in. that's it that's all I have for this dedicated review I hope you found this one helpful if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up to support the channel don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another review or video on the channel and I will see you guys right back here real soon until then uh, bye